amazing details found in The Persistence of Memory from Dali. Salvador Dali says, quote, What is important is to spread confusion, not eliminate it. End quote. Does The Persistence of Memory confuse the world? Is it true that Dali induced hallucinations to access his subconscious mind whilst making art? Welcome to another video of Art and Beyond. Today, we will crack the mysteries and the details behind the famous painting The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. The Persistence of Memory by surrealist Spanish artist and icon Salvador Dali is one of the rare works of art. It's mentioned as melting clocks. The precision is what makes The Persistence of Memory so surreal. What makes this art unique is that Dali painted familiar objects in unfamiliar ways. Despite the subject matter and significant impact on the world, the painting The Persistence of Memory is just slightly larger than a sheet of paper or almost 24 cm by 33 cm. This work of art is seen as a representative of the entire surrealism movement. Persistence of Memory attracts visitors from all over the world. It depicts a dream world in which daily objects have been displayed in unusual and illogical ways. Instead of depicting an imaginary world through whimsical colors and hurried brushstrokes, Dali painted common objects in unfamiliar ways. However, this melting clock painting resembles a crazy hallucination. Using his paranoid critical method, Dali hallucinated the entire scene before painting what he saw, which allowed him to create the Dali-esque. Thus, the persistence of memory lives as a type of dream photograph designed to confuse the viewer's eye through its hyper-realistic images juxtaposed against dreamlike scenes. In the middle of the composition, it's likely to recognize a human figure, a strange monster that Dali used in several contemporary pieces to represent himself. The creature is a figure from the paradise section of the Hieronymus Bosch's The Garden of Earthly Delights. It's observable that the creature has one closed eye with several eyelashes, which suggests that the creature is in a dreamy state. It has a trademark Salvador Dali mustache and lips in the place of eyebrows on a human face. Its nose has another small brown object coming out of the right nostril. The white figure has no limbs or any other human-like characteristics. The scenery around the figure is dark and barren. As seen in the majority of his paintings, Dali was obsessed with the themes of death, decay, and eroticism. He represented these concepts in many different ways. The persistence of memory has considerable academic debate as scholars interpret the painting. Some critics believe the melting watches are to response to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. The landscape comes from Dali's childhood. Dali's native place had a significant influence on his works. His native summer house in the shade of Mount Pernello inspired him to integrate its likeness into its paintings. In the persistence of memory, the shadow of Mount Pernello drapes in the foreground, and Cape Creus and its craggy coastline lay in the background. Sorry, I'm late in reminding you to subscribe. Dali's clocks aren't very good at keeping schedule. So if you're enjoying this video and the content on our channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The persistence of memory showcases the influence of scientific advances during Dali's lifetime. The dreamlike scenery reflects a Freudian emphasis on the dream landscape. Pocket watches are not the only reference to time. The sand in the painting refers to the sands of the time in an hourglass. The ants are portrayed with hourglass-shaped bodies, the shadow over the scene suggests the painting of the sun overhead. Also, the distant ocean may mean eternity. The shading in this painting is very detailed. The colors are not bright or vivid, but saturated and dark. Dali uses color and shadow together to create a unique experience. The colors used in persistent memory are primarily warm, including yellow, brown, gold, and black. Three clocks in the painting symbolize the past, the present, and the future, which are all subjective and open to interpretation, but the fourth clock, which lies face down and undistorted, may symbolize objective time. The egg that lies in the distance symbolizes life, which, like memory, has the potential to persist despite the distortion of time. The egg also expresses the artist's obsession with juxtaposition of hard and soft during his surrealist period. 
the insects in the persistence of memory, including a fly on the clock face, and the ants on the clock, which is face down, signify death, disintegration, and a parasitic relationship with time. Dali's paintings is a combination of three art genres, still life, landscape, and self-portrait. Though a somewhat similar self-portrait appears in an earlier Dali work, The Great Masturbator, in the persistence of memory, the figure seems to be either dead or sleeping. The lines in the watches are so detailed that they even show the numbers on the faces. The use of lines improves the realistic look of the reflection of the mountains in the water. The denuded, broken branch in the painting is identified as an olive tree by the art experts with reference to other Dali artworks. It represents the demise of ancient wisdom and the death of peace, reflecting the political tension between the world wars and the unrest that led to the Spanish Civil War in his native country. The painting showcases a strong sense of movement. The melting clocks generate an optical illusion and give the viewer the impression of dripping metal. The ant colony on the bronze watch also exhibits a sense of motion as they scatter on its surface. The crumbling and cracked mountains add to this movement too. The water below and the white figure stay completely still. The use of shadows in this picture builds a strong contrast between the sources of light and the sources of darkness. The lighting projects prominence on several objects and creates three dimensions using shadow and color. This contrast brings the three-dimensional illusion to life, making this piece of art a unique experience. Salvador Dali's The Persistence of Memory takes the viewer into a dreamlike universe. It's indeed a work of individuality. So what did you find the most interesting about The Persistence of Memory? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get new video updates. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. With that said, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.